A new health study from the American Academy of Neurology shows millions of Americans with sleep apnea may be at a higher risk of developing Alzheimer's. 13 News Now reporter Adriana de Alba introduces us to a local couple battling the disease. The pictures on the wall are a celebration of a 27-year marriage filled with love. Meet Liz and Wally Osgood, the Chesapeake couple who married later in life with a bond unlike any other. Very close, very touchy. A lot of people think we just got married. <laughs> He's been the glue that holds our family together. Seeing them together, you wouldn't think anything is wrong. But Wally is battling Alzheimer's, a disease with no cure. Doctors told them Wally's Alzheimer's may be linked to sleep apnea. Kills brain cells, I didn't have a whole lot to start with. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> and what was it you told, said you were going to do? You remember? No, I don't. <laughs> every forgotten detail and every blank stare is a sign Wally's memory is slipping away from him. It's a harsh reality for two best friends in love. I'm sad for him. I am sad that we're reaching the point that, um, one day he won't be with me. There is nothing doctors can do to slow his Alzheimer's from progressing. George Bloom is a professor of biology at the University of Virginia. Sleep plays a very important role in protecting against Alzheimer's disease. So uh, there are these things called uh, amyloid and tau that build up in your brain. Sleep is known to help those lymphatics flush out of the brain bad forms of tau and we think amyloid as well. So that's why sleep is so important and, uh, uh, and anything that interrupts a good night's sleep, uh, like sleep apnea, uh, can be very deleterious. The unknown road ahead brings them closer together. It tears my heart away to waste one minute because I don't know what I have, what we have in time together. So she sings. I'll do all that I can showering him with love to let him know he's not fighting this battle alone. And even now, Wally has managed to keep his sense of humor. She's the one with the Alzheimer's. <laughs> A sign the man she fell in love with is still here in Chesapeake. Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now. The CDC reports Alzheimer's is one of the fastest growing diseases in the country. As of last year, nearly 6 million Americans were living with it. North Carolina has one of the worst Alzheimer's mortality rates, ranked 37th in the country. Virginia fares a bit better at 17th. The Centers for Disease Control says symptoms usually begin after 60, but the disease is typically there a decade or more before problems appear. Mm -hmm.